Kremlin keeps financing Wagner Group through government contracts. The fact that companies belonging to Yevgeny Prigozhin, financier of the Wagner private military company, have been awarded state contracts amounting to at least 2 billion rubles, roughly 21.2 million US dollars a month following the mutiny, suggests that Russian authorities have probably preserved the scheme of financing the Wagner Group. Russian opposition media outlet Agentsvo reported this. Companies associated with Yevgeny Prigozhin have secured at least 2 billion rubles worth of government contracts over the month since the military coup. Remarkably, the firms belonging to Prigozhin managed to keep their hands on large orders for hot lunches for school children in suburban Moscow, the Agentsvo found after analyzing data from the Russian state procurement website. This likely indicates that the authorities have retained the scheme to implicitly finance Wagner private military company operations in Africa, the news outlet writes. The Agentsvo assessed government contracts concluded with 17 companies to understand whether Prigozhin is still managing to secure government contracts over the past month. Prigozhin's firms have received major contracts to provide hot meals for school children in settlements in Moscow Oblast. The administration of the town of Mitishchi in Moscow Oblast will pay 705 million rubles, roughly 7.1 million US dollars, to the Social Nutrition Center, and the administration of the city of Krasnogorsk will pay 935 million rubles, roughly 9.9 .9 million US dollars, to the Prod Food Service Company. This indicates that a group of companies owned by Putin's chef has managed to retain two large government customers in Moscow Oblast, the media outlet emphasized. The Artek Children's Center extended its cooperation with Prigozhin's companies. It will pay 260 million rubles, roughly 2.1 million US dollars, to the preschool food plant for meals for children in 2023. Prigozhin's companies also received contracts from several healthcare facilities in Moscow and Moscow Oblast following the mutiny. Contracts were also concluded with Russo Capital and AVK. All of the contracts analyzed were concluded with civilian government agencies. The Wall Street Journal estimated that Prigozhin's firms received more than 5 billion US dollars in government contracts in Russia between 2014 and the end of 2022. Bloomberg reported that Prigozhin would retain some of his operations in Africa after the coup.